Hey, Shalom Akim. I uh, want to start off by giving all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Rakar Kodash. Hey, double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone. A salutations to the hopeful elect out here pushing the word and truth and sincerity. Shalom. Uh, today, the title is going to be This land or this country is a breeding ground for effeminate. Uh, men or Jake's, you know, Israelite men, man. Because I ran across this this internet post on the web. Let me uh, blow it up so you brothers can see it a little bit better. Put it in the center of the screen. It says, uh, "He saw me doing my makeup and asked me to teach him. He wants to be an MUA when he grows up, whatever that is. I think that's like a makeup thing, man." And look at this. Look at this soft ass Jake promoting this shit, man. See, y'all know what this is. This is letting kids be kids and experiencing something that they want to do without the this isn't what boys do. This is what girls do. Bull. Man, it's not bull, man. It's not bull because the way the order of, of man and woman is structured, man, there's certain things that men do. There's certain things that, that women do, man. But but you you soft as Jake's let uh, yeah we gonna keep this on the screen, but you soft as Jake let uh let Esau turn y'all out to this faggot shit man, and Jake when they when they do anything they they take it too far obviously man, and that's that's what they're doing here man, they're they're first. This all stems from uh, I bet you nine times out of ten this is a single parent household man, you know, so first you have uh. You know the, the the Israelite woman controlling the household. Then you have uh you know she she's getting all kind of um. She's getting all kind of uh, special benefits from the government, man. She probably has a, a decent job, man. You know, so so she doesn't feel like the need to uh to raise her son to be a um um a, a, a man of the Lord first, but a man in general, man. You know. She doesn't feel the need to have her man be a, 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 her son be a masculine man. Her son learn the things of what it takes to be a true, uh, you know, man in this society. But she don't got a man to begin with. I bet you, man, doing shit like this, man. If 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 any of you brothers, man, you brothers know if any of you brothers got caught doing this shit, like to one of your sisters or something, you would get your ass beat, man. You know, but here we have this, this, this society is a breeding ground for this shit, man. You know, they promote homosexuals on TV, man. They put all kind of, uh, you know, rules and regulations to make, to make these faggots feel at home in this society, man. According to you, how about Shim Yasha, we supposed to be stoning these motherfuckers, man. Putting these, putting them to death, man. Especially if a kid like this at a young age, man, you're you're basically uh planting the seeds for Satan to come in his life, man. You know, you're supposed to be protecting our kids from that shit, man. You know, we shouldn't tell them like things like this. I know brothers got kids. I know brothers who got kids with that that's the last thing they want to see, man. Because they're gonna grow up with, with uh all kind of demons in their mind telling them that shit like this is okay, man. This is not okay. That's why the uh and in, in, um, in the Torah, it says you should put evil from among you, man. We have to we have to cut it out at the source, man, or else it grows like a cancer, man. Or else it grows and it, and it, uh, and it festers, you know. Jeremiah 31 and 22. How long wilt thou go about, O backsliding daughter? For the Lord hath created a new thing in the earth. A woman shall compass a man, man. This is the, the exact example of that, man. Because if, if it was up to the man, this kid would probably be playing ball, man. This this kid about probably in, be into into some martial arts, probably into uh, automobiles or something, man. Something, man. He might be in the art, you know. But no, he his his mother, the nigga woman, wants him to be a a, a makeup specialist, man. Wants him to 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 grow up and and, and express his inner fem, f femininity, man. We don't have that shit, man. We men, you know. We have to carry ourselves as such, man. Now here we have 1 Corinthians chapter 6 verse 9. And it says, Know ye not that the unrighteous shall not inherit the kingdom of Yahweh? Be not deceived, neither fornicators, nor idolaters, 
nor adulterers, nor effeminate, nor abusers with themselves of mankind, nor thieves, nor covetous, nor drunkards, nor revilers, nor extortioners shall inherit the kingdom of, of Yahweh, man. Now let's let's uh Google search that word effeminate. Just just to get a cut on all you uh all you soft ass jakes out there, man. Because we living in a time where all this uh fe feminine, all this homosexuality bullshit, it, it it's gonna be nothing when the time of the Jacob trouble, man. When these when these bullets start popping, man, you you gonna be you gonna be crying. You 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 <laughs> you really gonna be a woman then, man. All you trains wanna be a woman so bad, you gonna see how uh <laughs> how how effeminate you gonna be when these martial art troops kicking in your door, man. You know you you should you should be raising this man. This young man to be in the scriptures, man. You know? Raising him to, to know his identity instead of being further uh further bugged out in this society. Effeminate, having or showing characteristics typical of a woman. Un unmanly, man. That's unmanly for this for this nigga woman to allow this, man. She she's she's setting her son up for destruction, man. And you see, this is why we need the two thirds to be exterminated, man. Yes, oh, y'all so hard on your people, man. Y'all, you know, y'all, y'all, y'all hate your own people. Y'all racist towards your own, man. Our people hate themselves. Our people hate themselves. Look, look at the shit that they're doing, man. How is this gonna be? How is this gonna create a healthy example for the next generation, for his generation? You know what I'm saying? Lord's will, we won't be here, man. But if 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 this if this little uh nigga faggot right here has a has a kid, man, we all fuck. You know. We all fuck, you know, us Israelites, men of the Lord, in the spirit of Yahweh Bashim Yahshua, we're the last of a dying breed, man, of real Israelite men of the Lord, man. You know, that's why we need Yahweh Shah to come back, man. That's why it says if them days wouldn't shorten, uh, basically we all be wiped out. So like, you know, I, you know that's a basic scripture. I, I forgot the, uh, how it goes, man. But if them days wasn't shortened for the elect's sake, there would be no flesh shaved. That's what it is, man. That's what it is. We 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 the we we are strong Israelite men are a, a endangered species in this thing, man. Endangered species because, like I said, like the title is, this is a breeding ground for effeminates, man. So us coming in the spirit, having beards on our face, uh, rebuking things like this, man. You know, we we are the we are the enemy, man. Marked by unbecoming delicacy or over refinement, man. See, hell, look, ooh. Some synonyms. If it's it, uh, sissified, sissy, unmanly, womanish, man. Things like that. And then here's, here, here are the, the antonyms. Manlike, manly, mannish, masculine, man. So that's that that's what uh that's what this society pushes, man. And and this this soft ass Jake, let me read this again. See, y'all know what this is. This is letting kids be kids, man. Kids kids need to be led, man. Kids need to be taught. Kids need to be shown the example. You don't you don't give um a kid the ability to um to do what he wants, man. Cause he <laughs> he'll destroy himself, man. Let's uh let's get that scripture real fast. Um oh, I think that's in uh Let me find this real quick. Because, you know, man, this, right, yep, Proverbs 22 and 6, Wadi Yahweh Shim Yahweh Shai. And this is why we need the scriptures, man, because the scriptures have advice for all aspects of life, man. Proverbs 22 and 6, train up a way in the child he should go, and when he is old, he should not depart from it, man. So if you train up your child to be a manly man of the Lord, calling on the names of Yahweh Bashim Yahshai, you know, you teach, you you uh train him up in a way to read the scriptures, he he will not depart from it, man. But here you have the, the nigga woman training this 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 little little, little nigga faggot to be a a a a, 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 a feminine makeup artist, man. And and you know, Abaratazah, this 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 little thing doesn't grow up to be old, man. But if if he does, if he grows to be old, he's gonna he's not gonna depart from that from that uh, from that faggotry, man. 
he he's gonna stay in that in in that hole, man. But that that's just a cut to this. This is what letting kids be kids and experience something that they want to do, man. You're not supposed to. You're supposed to train them up. You sort of got the way, man. You know. But um, just for the last part of this video, I did a word search of of uh, slew men, which means kill men, and this this is uh. This is the things that we are doing in the kingdom, man. Not not the kingdom, but in the ancient world, man. This is how manly and how uh, warrior mentality we had in the in the in the in the ancient world, man. We weren't we weren't doing this shit, man. Now here we have. Let me just read read a few good ones to get the spirit on it. And it says Judges one verse four. And Judah went up, and the Lord Yahweh delivered the Canaanites and the Perizzites into their hand. And they slew of them in Bezek, 10,000 men, man. And th these are all men warriors, man. We, in the ancient world, we didn't have no uh, no, no female female warriors like you have in this uh, soft-ass society, man. And after him, Judges 3, verse 31, after him, uh, Shamgar, the son of Amoth, which slew of the Philistines 600 men with the ox gold and delivered Israel, man. We were catching bodies in the ancient world, man. Not not painting painting faces. We were catching bodies out here, man. We was getting our hands dirty. You know? Let's uh let's find some more. And the spirit of uh, Judges 14, verse 19, the spirit of the Lord came upon him, and he went down to Ashkelon and slew thirty men of them, and took their spoil, and gave change of garments unto them which expounded the riddle. His anger was kindled, and he went up to his father's house, man. This is uh, going into uh, Samson, I believe. Judges 15 and 15. And he found a new jawbone of an ass and put forth his hand and took it and slew a thousand men therewith, man. You see? We we wasn't playing in this ancient world, man. Right here, First Samuel 18 and 27. When David aroused and went, he and his men slew and slew of the Philistines 200 men. And David brought their foreskins and they gave them in full tale to the king that that he might be the king's son-in-law. And Saul gave him Michal, his daughter, to wife. You know, hey, so we wasn't, uh, you know, pussifying ourselves to get on these women, man. David slew 200 Philistines just just, just to get some, man. And that that's some manly shit. We wasn't, uh, you know, on our knees begging for these women to be with us, man. We, hey, we, we would just do what we always did, man. Handle our business, you know. And the Syrians, Second uh, Samuel ten verse eighteen, and the Syrians fled before Israel, and David slew the men of seven hundred chariots of the Syrians and forty thousand horsemen, and smote Sh Shobach, the captain of their hosts, who died there. You, you see what I'm saying, man? Let me let me get one more. Uh, let's, let's let's keep going, man. Just 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 to cut shit like this, man. You know, right? Second Chronicles twenty-eight and six. For Pekadas, the son of Remaliah, Re Re slew in Judah, a hundred and twenty thousand in one day, which were all valiant men, because they have forsaken. Well, that's that's not an Israelite, Salaki brothers. Let me find one more, man. Uh, this is Esther nine verse fifteen for this. For the Jews that were in Shushan gathered themselves together on the 14th day also of the month Adar and slew 300 men of Shushan, but on the prey they laid not on their hand, man. And you see? Hey, man, so we were getting our hands dirty in here, man. You know, we, we, weren't, we weren't doing shit like this in the ancient world, man. I mean, yeah, in the ancient world, we weren't doing shit like this, man. We were getting our hands dirty. We were executing righteous judgment. You know, we were calling upon the name of the Lord, man. But like I said, this is why we can't have niggas in the kingdom, man. Because the first the first day of the kingdom, y'all going to be doing faggot shit like this, man. Y'all going to be doing faggot shit like doing makeup. Uh, You got men fucking twerking, singing uh, bitch-ass songs, man. This is why Israel needs to be exterminated, man. We need to start fresh with us, the hopeful elect. Abaratazah, we be those men because we we gonna we gonna um how it says in that Proverbs twenty two we're gonna train up 
our sons and daughters in the way, man. It, they're already going to have it programmed in them, man. But we're gonna we're gonna put the spirit of the Lord on them, man. You know, we're we're gonna we're gonna tell them about themselves in the kingdom, man. We're gonna chastise them for all the effeminate shit they did, man. You know, through the spirit, I I, I claim this little nigga, man, and he gonna. <laughs> He going to get all kind of ass whoopers for this shit, man. You know? But with that, Akim, I hope this video is edifying. I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Ba'ashim, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashim, Rekar Kodash. A double honor to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone. A salutation to the hopeful elect. A shalom.